You know how I look. I'm half Mexican, uh, quarter white, and that's it. I'm only three quarters of an adult, man. <laughs> no, it's true. I'm from a Mexican town. I was raised Mexican. I don't know my white family at all. And uh, it's, it's pretty tough. I was raised, uh, like, I used to have get made fun of if I didn't say words right. You know what I mean? Like tapatio or quesadilla or, you know, like other Mexican foods. But now since I moved to L.A. and no one knows I'm Mexican and I'm this aggressively white, I have to say them white. You know what I mean? Otherwise, I look like the guy at Starbucks that says croissant. Just a douche. <laughs> I got out of the military about a year ago now. It's pretty cool. Get to smoke weed. Anyone? Smoke weed? What's up? Yeah. Getting real introspective, you know, dude? Start thinking about stuff. I think it's interesting how, I don't know whose job it was, like, as a society, we all just, like, made up these things that, like, define who we are, like, numbers and lines. Like, at some point, someone put a line, decided, like, right here, I'm not short enough to be a midget. That's what that line says. And then they drew another line that says, like, I'm not tall enough to get any respect. <laughs> you know, as a man. <laughs> the one I think is the most interesting is uh, the IQ, like, who, the IQ test. Like, I don't know how they came up with... Like someone put a dot and said, right here, if you're at this point and below, then you're, you know, you're mentally challenged, you're special, you know. But if you're just right above that line, then you're just an idiot. <laughs> I don't know how that Like right here and below, you get all the sympathy in the world. <laughs> right above it, just get the, get the fuck away from me, dude. <laughs> I had a long day. I was uh, talking to my dad earlier. My dad, uh. Had me when he was uh, 17, because he was very responsible. He thought high school, he wanted to grow up fast. Uh, it's weird, you know, he was a teenage father. Because, like, he wasn't a great father at that point, but at the same time, he was also just like a rad older brother. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I remember when I was eight, he didn't show up to Thanksgiving, and I was, and I was really sad. And I didn't see him until Tuesday after. And I uh, came up to him, like, uh, Dad, uh, where were you? And he's like, oh, dude. I went to the desert this weekend, man. There was this rager, this quads, water cycles, and he pulled out a picture. And in the picture, it's like him with two white chicks with their tops off like this. I was like, fuck Thanksgiving. <laughs> my dad kicks ass. <laughs> That's my time. Thanks, guys. Oh, coming to the stage is a way funnier guy than me and manlier is uh, Mr. Kevin Teakin.